Uh, Genesis chapter 30, verse 22. It reads, Then God remembered Rachel, and he listened to her, and enabled her to conceive. So, the story about Rachel and Leah, these were sisters who were married to one man. So, in their issues, you find what uh, each time any of them failed to conceive, they considered it as an attack to the relationship between them and the husband. So each time God allowed them to conceive, they would give children the names according to the event. But now that I managed to give birth to a son for my husband, he's going to love me. I realized that in the matters of relationships, there is a lot of shame that can come to you. There are a lot of incidences. There are a lot of things that can happen in the areas of relationships and marriages that can, that can put you to shame. So, it needs the intervention of God that whosoever is looking for a person to marry or whosoever is looking for a person to marry it, they need the help, they need the end of God upon them so that they, 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 they be not brought to shame. My prayer right now is that everybody who is listening to me, I don't know what kind of situation you are in. Maybe you are looking for a man to marry you. Maybe you are looking for a woman to marry. Maybe you are in a relationship and it is not going well. There are challenges within the relationship. Maybe you guys, you are planning to get married, but you don't have money. Or you have your husband, but the marriage is shaking. I don't know what is causing you know, the, 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 the fall, falling down of your relationship, your marriage, and whatsoever. Maybe you don't have any man who gossips. Maybe you don't have any person who say, I love you to you. So this prayer is going to touch every area of relationships. It doesn't matter that I'm not going to mention your problems because I can't finish them. Some other problems, they are very complicated. But I'm praying for everybody who is having a problem with marriages, relationships, with your love life, which is not right. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the person who is listening to me right now. I am praying for her marriage. I'm praying for his marriage. I'm praying for her love life. I'm praying for his love life. Whatsoever that is not going well in the relationship, I come in the mighty name of Jesus crying for your hand to be landed on the relationship that is not well right now. I don't know what's happening, but the person who is listening to me has a prayer request concerning the marriage or a relationship. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that every problem that this person is having, it may be solved by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare and I decree that in the mighty name of Jesus, every relationship that doesn't have sugar, every relationship that doesn't have test, every marriage that is falling apart, every marriage that is bitter, I come in the mighty name of Jesus. As you are listening to me right now, the Holy Spirit is going straight to where your problem is. Let it be solved by the power of the Holy Ghost. I send and I release an angel to come in between you and your men, to come in between you and your woman. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every problem be solved by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let every problem be solved by the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't care it's my way. It's a person, it is a person who is in love with your husband. I send fire to her in the mighty name of Jesus. I send fire to her in the mighty name of Jesus. Everybody who has a hand on your relationship, everybody who has a hand on your marriage, everybody who has a hand in your love life, maybe they cursed you. I don't care who it is. Maybe this is somebody who is getting in between you and your wife or you and your husband. That person is the person I'm praying about. May the power of the Holy Ghost solve the matter right now in the mighty name of Jesus. All those who are dating your men, in the mighty name of Jesus, I send the fire of the Holy Spirit. 
Let them fight. Let them fight. Let them fight. Let them fight. Let them break apart. Anything that can solve your marital problem. Maybe you are looking for the fruit of the womb. Things are not well. May the Lord of Rachel and Leah remember you. And put away shame from your name. I pray for your marriage right now. I pray for your relationship right now. I pray for your love life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for all ladies who are looking for a man that can marry them. I'm praying for all men who are looking for ladies to marry. May the power of the Holy Ghost reveal to you the secrets of your life and direct you to the right person. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. All the bad luck that you have been experiencing in relationships. Each and every relationship you enter into, there is disappointment in at the end. I speak against that disappointment. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak against disappointment. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of anti-marriage, every spirit of anti-marriage, every spirit that doesn't want you to marry, every spirit that doesn't want you to get married, in the mighty name of Jesus, let it move away from your body. Let it move away from your system. I pray that you may succeed in your love life. I pray for happiness in your marriage. I pray for happiness in your relationship. I pray for happiness wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that your relationship may resurrect wherever it's dying right now. You are being ignored. I pray that if this relationship belongs to you, let him come back to you. Let him come back to you. I pray for the mending up of all broken relationships. Communication breakdown. If this is an evil spirit, if these are enemies, I'm coming in between you and your man or your woman. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the power of the Holy Spirit solve this problem. I want you to understand something when I am praying. I am speaking words here. And the soldiers, the army of God, can go direct to wherever I am sending them. If I speak fire to whosoever dating your husband, the fire of the Holy Ghost comes from me now. And it goes there. It doesn't have limits. It doesn't matter. You are far from me. But the power of the Holy Ghost doesn't matter. I have prayed for plenty of people who are sick. They are in the UK. I am here. They are in Dubai. I am here. But because they are listening to the voice which is anointed, so long your faith is higher. We can work together and send fire to the territories where your marriage is bound. I don't care it's witchcraft. I don't care it's my postory power. I don't care what they did. There are men who are listening to me right now. You don't function well in the bedroom and it's now an attack to your marriage. Let it resurrect in the name of Jesus. Let it resurrect in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it resurrect in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive power in the bedroom. Receive feelings in the bedroom. Let you be organized in the bedroom. Let you have the test that is needed in the bedroom. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you, your partners, they started well with you. They loved you so well. But all of a sudden, they changed. I come in the mighty name of Jesus. Let test be given to your marriage. Let test be given to your relationship. Let test be given to whatsoever that you are in. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that this year, if you have been praying for a marriage, if this year you have been praying for somebody who can marry you, I pray that this year may be your year. Let the cows come home. Let the lobo come home. Let the wedding come home. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want the Lord to show flames to the people who look down on you. It's been years. Men coming to your life and they go. Women coming to your life and they go. But I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the soul which is listening to me receive a marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. I plant it in your system right now. I plant it in your system right now. Thou shalt be married. Thou says the Lord. Every spirit of anti-marriage doesn't have authority on your life. 
There are some people who are being controlled by cases of the family. In your family, there is nobody who can be married. In your family, there is nobody who can stay in a relationship. In your family, there is nobody who can get married properly. Nobody can be paid lobola for. But you are the first one because you are listening to the voice which is anointed. I declare and I decree that as the power of the Holy Ghost is planted in me, let it create hope in you. Let it create the looks which are needed on you. Let it create the test of love that is needed in you. Be married, get married. In the mighty name of Jesus, you must marry and you must get married. Whether the devil likes it or not. I pray for all marriages which are breaking down. I pray for all relationships which are breaking down. I pray for people who don't have partners in life. May the Lord give you a rightful partner. Because the Lord says a good wife comes from the Lord. If anything comes from the Lord, it is a proper thing. I pray for marriage. I pray for relationships. I pray for the heartbroken. Those who are heartbroken. Those who have experienced enough of disappointments. I raise up a hand of prayer upon you. May you be remembered in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak better love in your relationship. I speak test in your relationship. You are being ignored. You are being segregated. You are, you are not shown love. I pray that love may exist in your relationship. May the power of the Holy Ghost touch the mind and the heart of your partner that your relationship may not be sour but it may be sweet. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost I declare by the grace that I carry as an apostle, relationships relationships, relationships that man who is looking for a girlfriend that lady who is looking for a boyfriend, let this grace solve it for you. It's coming to you in the name of Jesus Every communication which is breaking down I mend it by the name of Jesus. Let tomorrow be a greater day. Let tomorrow be a wonderful day. I pray for your relationship. I pray for your relationship. No more disappointments. No more disappointments. No more disappointments. In the mighty name of Jesus, let a proper man come to you. Let a proper woman come to you. Let a proper man come to you. Let a proper woman come to you. I declare a marriage. I declare a white wedding. I declare happiness. I declare the restoration of a broken marriage. Those who are divorced by men who belong to them. Those who are divorced by women who belong to them. I call them by their names right now. As I'm speaking, begin to call them by their names. Say, come back to me. Say, come back to me. Thus says the Lord. Come back to me. You are not going anywhere. I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are meant to be in my life, you are not going anywhere. Wherever you go, there is no peace. Wherever you go, there is no joy. As long as the Lord assigned you to be mine. Male pro tababo shatoka paroda. As you are praying right now, begin to declare that your relationship will be restored. Begin to pray that a proper man will locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Declare, begin to declare now. The God of Rachel. The God of Leah. All those who are widows by now. You lost your husband, but I pray that the Lord may restore you. Reba Toki Apado, the God of Ruth, the God of Ruth, may he remember you, may he remember you, may he remember you. Lebra dosha nabako soba ribe dosha mano. Sinene me akapa rodiba santo lebra. Shinebe ako sato lebra toka papana. Lepa shato kayada. Losi pre toka. This prayer is going to fix any area of the relationship. It is you who know what you are going through. Begin to declare in the mighty name of Jesus. Leba zo zebaro janto likia tantanino setantola koshamazo baliatosha le 
Sopro kapapa, no shipa yako. Sento la baba bo sopa karapapa ne. Sheno kapa yako sopa riato le kapapa ntiaso. Sento za sintika shinto kapapa ruk. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless your relationship. I bless your love life. I bless your marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who bewitched you, those who send winds, I block them in the name of Jesus. I put a hedge of correction. I put a hedge of protection. In the mighty name of Jesus. Si adolika zon si asuski bantia lito haso haria hapus. In the name of Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, normalize. Having a glass of water when you are listening to the anointing prayer, because when I'm speaking, power is getting to, into any object that you are holding. So if you take your cooking oil, in South Africa they call it fish oil. You hold it with your water. Then after listening, you drink that water. When you are sleeping, you put on the oil on your body. I'm telling you all the bad lucks. who run away from you as you are drinking the water is going into your system it's flushing away every dirty thing it's flushing away every dirty thing so co continue doing this whenever you see that you are in a, under attack listen to this word your word your water listen to the prayer begin to declare that the anointing in the voice may get into the water drink that water the power will go into your system all the anti marriage spirits and all the bad luck who will be taken away from your body in the name of Jesus. And all the people who have these audios and they are not saved in the music gallery, what you do, you downloaded it from the group. So you go, as you are in the group, there are three dots which are found on top, on the right side, on your right side, on your right side. You check on top, there are three dots. Those three dots, if you press them, you see what is written like group media. When you see group media, you press the audio that you downloaded. When you press the audio that you downloaded, you click it, right? When you click it, you see also three dots by the far right on top there. When you click them, you find an option of save. Then you save your audio. You find it in music. Even if you lose your charts on WhatsApp, you still find your audios. in music it's not right to keep audios in the whatsapp because you lose them and the people i encourage you please every time you have a problem you are requesting for these audios why can't you keep the audios so that when you get into a problem you listen to them you just take water you listen to any audio when you listen to it you drink water god will solve your problem mind your people every day they are asking for prayer but they will be having those prayer in their phones and when you see people asking for prayers in the group and when you see that the prayer that the person is given is the same problem that you are having you don't ask for another prayer use that same the audios we are sending in the group they are the same audios there is no change there is nothing like unique there they carry the power even you see the blood speak for me it's giving people a lot of miracles but if you look at it when was it created It was created when you started the ministry three and a half years ago but the power in that audio don't play now we are talking about there is this one the dry bones ladies and gentlemen unfortunately it's in shona but that prayer that prayer what it's doing in people <laughs> by the way i'm signing out god bless you drink your water